is going on my people it is so good to see you guys again um i have been a little bit busy um rc car stuff oh yeah i hope you guys saw this body video i just put out if y'all haven't seen this video yet y'all need to go back and check out this video well, the one where i made this rc body dude this thing glows It is awesome. I did such an outstanding job on this body. And then we put LED lights. We armored it up. I mean, it's incredible. I love how it glows. So if you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, y'all might want to go and check out this video. I think it was the epic, most epic body I've ever done. Something like that. Um, I got these in the mail. They're headlights, right? Big old headlights. Same as these. This is the roll cage that we bought for this truck that didn't exactly fit until we got this new style of bumper. Now this is a version 5 truck. The bumper is a version 3 and version 4. But it still fit. Although these upper brackets up here, these right here, these upper brackets, they didn't exactly uh, line up. So I'm sorry if the quality of this video is a little bit off guys. I um, I went to use the GoPro, but for some reason, because this is how I do 99.9% .9 of all of my videos is with the GoPro, um, but the SD card failed about halfway through filming it, and I can't find the other SD card. This set is already on, and I wanna, I'm trying to find out, should I put this set like right here, so that way I have double headlights on the front or should I maybe like put it in the back that you know I got some tail lights that are coming and I don't know when they'll be here sometime in December but I want to put these angel I got these angel lights these angel light LEDs they're gonna go on the very front and then I got a brake light and there's already these pre-mounted holes right here so I'm gonna put brake lights on this bad boy. But I was thinking, since we already have these two pre-drilled holes right here, let's just mount up another set of lights on this bad boy. So the hole's a little bit tight, so we're just gonna drill it out. Yeah, cool. Yes, it does. What do y'all think? Y'all like that look? That four headlights? And a roll cage. And a partridge in a pear tree. It looks pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. Let's hook it up. If you're digging this video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Oh yeah. That is too cool. Them lights are damn bright, bro. Wow. Remotes. So I can basically turn my whole garage off. Now it does take two remotes to control every damn thing in the garage. But, you know, let's turn that off. Look at this. Wow, that's pretty bright. What's it look like from, from the back of the car? Like, is there a lot of light coming out of that? Let's see here. Wow. Yeah, there is. Check that out. So I got the camera behind the lights. So that way you can see what it looks like. Now, if I was to black out two of them, not that bright, but that four. Look at that, man. It's shining on the back wall. Wow. I can't wait to do this at night. Night driving 101, man, that is what I like to do. And I can't help but just look at the roll cage. I mean, it looks sick. It needs some LED lights to go with these awesome tires. What do y'all think? Uh-huh. Would y'all like to see a, um... I was thinking about doing a tug-of-war video. Where I can see how much weight the truck can pull. But I was like, how am I going to do that? Uh-oh, I just knocked that one out. Whoops. That's okay. That's alright. It doesn't matter. I knocked it loose. I don't know which one I knocked loose. Was it this one? Or was it this one? I don't know. 
I ain't worried about it. I just wanted to show you guys that. Isn't that awesome? Get them LEDs in here and stuff. That's going to be pretty cool. Man, I just I love the aluminum look. I would be cool if I could get a body to fit on it somehow. Or maybe get a body to sit under and then put the roll cage over it. That would be the ultimate goal because this roll cage, see that? It's on a hinge. So it's meant to come up and out, which will then allow you to work on your car. That's pretty sick, right? My thought is, is well, if I can do that, can I get the body to fit? Like, all right, there's the body. The body's on. Will this go up and over? Ooh, damn. Those are in the way. Those skid protectors. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. It's hitting in the back right there. See that? You can see where it's hitting. I bet if I had the stock body, I bet the stock body would fit it. I don't have it with me right now. It's in my truck and it's freezing cold outside. It's like 32 degrees outside right now. So if you guys have been wondering what I've been up to and why I haven't really been making RC car videos, well, this project, this garage, has really been taking up my time. Um, and then on top of that, I've been working 50 hours a week, plus it is stupid cold outside. So I really haven't had much initiative to want to go outside, but I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Um, check out some of my old old videos if you want to see new content content that I haven't made I have over 500 videos. I guarantee you you have not seen all of my videos Promise you that so if you want to see something new check out some of my older stuff go back a year or maybe even two years You'll probably see a lot of computer videos. Maybe not many RC videos, but You know, that's just how it goes and I'm really, really liking the look of these lights. Even though they were $22 a piece, so that's like 50 bucks in lights sitting there. It just looks cool. You, you gotta like it, you know what I mean? Take that off. That screen right here, man, that thing really helps. You gotta watch temperatures though, man. It'll, it'll make your, your motor and your car run a little bit hot. Although right now, since it's so cold outside, I haven't had those problems dealing with it but anyway i appreciate you guys this was just going to be a little quick video i got those lights in and i wanted to show them to y'all i appreciate you guys thank you for watching and y'all be cool